In a month from now, Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. The shape of U.S. foreign policy under Trump's leadership remains a mystery in many quarters. For Korea, though, a delegation from Seoul was offered some reassurance during a meeting with Trump's nominee for national security advisor. Kim hye sung tells us more. The Seoul-Washington alliance remains strong and firm. That's why U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's choice for national security advisor, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, reportedly said in a meeting with a South Korean delegation in Washington Tuesday local time. According to the South Korean delegation led by First Vice Foreign Minister Im Song Nam, Flynn said Washington hopes to build a stronger alliance with Seoul and stress the importance of working together to tackle Pyongyang's provocations. Related to that, he said the decision to deploy the THAAD missile defense system to the Korean peninsula is an appropriate move. On the campaign trail, President-elect Trump said the U.S. should no longer be the policeman of the world, saying he would even consider withdrawing U.S. troops stationed in South Korea if Seoul does not cover more of the financial costs, raising red flags about possible changes to Korea-U.S. bilateral ties. Michael Flynn's comments are, are, are fairly encouraging, but I think it's a little too early to jump to any conclusions. One is how the Trump administration reacts and responds to North Korean provocations. The second problem is um, what his China policy is going to be, uh, whether North Korea will be a central component of his relationship to Beijing. And of course, it's still a question whether Trump's cabinet picks will pass the U.S. Congress confirmation process. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.